It's umsum time. What if Los Angeles disappeared?、Huh? Oh no! I was invited for the Oscars. Oh umsum. To buy this hoodie, visit umsum.com. Firstly, Los Angeles is home to Hollywood. If Los Angeles disappeared,、huh? movie buffs would be one sad lot. Mm. Secondly, Los Angeles is known for its stunning beaches. If Los Angeles disappeared,、uh-huh. beach lovers would be one sad lot.、Hmm. Thirdly, Los Angeles is home to many movie stars. If Los Angeles disappeared,、uh-huh. these stars would have to look for a new home.、Mm. Fourthly, Los Angeles is known for its theme parks. If Los Angeles disappeared,、uh-huh. thrill seekers would be one sad lot.、Hmm. Lastly. If Los Angeles disappeared, celebrities who have their stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame would be one sad lot.、Mm. What if Mumbai disappeared? Oh no! I am extremely popular in Mumbai. <laughs> oh, I'm some. Firstly, Mumbai is home to India's Bollywood industry. If Mumbai disappeared, Bollywood fans would be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Secondly. Mumbai is famous for its tasty food. If Mumbai disappeared,、huh? fans of Indian food would be one sad lot.、Hmm. Thirdly, Mumbai is home to most number of billionaires in India. If Mumbai disappeared, it would not be easy to find a billionaire anymore.、Hmm. Fourthly, Mumbai is home to more than 20 million people. If Mumbai disappeared, finding new homes for these people would not be easy. Hmm. Lastly, Mumbai is considered as the financial capital of India. If Mumbai disappeared,、huh? Huh? Indians would be one sad lot. Hmm. Why is ocean water salty? Hmm. Several natural processes make ocean water salty. Huh? For example, when it rains, the water droplets react with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and form carbonic acid, making rainwater slightly acidic. This acidic rainwater reacts with minerals present in the rocks and forms new minerals and salts. These minerals and salts are then carried by flowing water to the oceans, thus making the ocean water salty. In addition to this, along the mid-ocean ridges, magma rises close to the oceanic crust. Here, when the salty ocean water seeps into the Earth's crust, it gets hot due to magma. This hot water dissolves more minerals present in the crust and carries them to the oceans through fissures called hydrothermal vents, thus making the ocean water salty. Hmm. Are Einstein's gravitational waves real? No, they are waves created by Titanic. As always, you are wrong. Gravity is the attractive force with which two objects pull each other. However, Albert Einstein imagined gravity as well as space and time a little differently. His theory of general relativity unified two separate entities, space and time, into a single entity called space-time. Space-time can be considered as the fabric of the universe. Now, just like a heavy ball creates a curve or distorts the trampoline, mass of an object creates a curve in space-time. According to Einstein, this curve is gravity. Wow! This trampoline is amazing. Ah,、uh, first listen. Just like our hands create ripples in water, moving objects create ripples in space-time. These ripples are termed as gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were directly observed for the first time on September 14, 2015, by Laser Interferometer Gravitational Observatory in the U.S. Hmm. Why do snakes have forked tongue? Just for fashion. No. Even though snakes have noses, they smell odors of their prey,、ah. mate, or surroundings with the help of their tongue and vomeronasal organ. Each time a snake flicks its tongue in air, it collects odor particles. Then, when the tongue is brought back, the particles are transferred to the vomeronasal organ. This organ detects the odors and sends signals to the brain. Helping the snake smell. Wow, that's interesting. Now we know that when we see with our two separate eyes, our brain combines the two different perspectives and makes a detailed image of our surrounding. 
Similarly, because the tongue of a snake is forked, it collects odor particles from two different locations, helping the snake understand in which direction the odor is coming from and thus making it easier to locate the prey. Hmm. Why do snakes shed their skin? Wait, I'll explain. When a snake grows, its outer skin layer called epidermis does not grow or get bigger with it. Hence, the snake sheds its epidermis periodically to allow further growth of its body. In addition to this, shedding also helps remove parasites present on the epidermis. So does the snake buy a new skin? No. First listen. Before shedding, the snake grows a new epidermis beneath the old one and secretes a fluid between the old and new epidermis. This fluid helps separate the old epidermis from the new one. Once this is done, the process of shedding begins. To remove the old epidermis, the snake rubs its head against any hard surface, creating a tear either near mouth or near nose area. Then, it drags and wriggles its body against any hard surface and slowly slithers out of the old epidermis. Hmm. What causes tides? Tides are the periodic rise and fall of sea level at a particular place. When the sea level rises to its greatest height, it is known as a high tide. And when the sea level drops to its lowest height, it is known as a low tide. Tides are primarily caused due to the gravitational force of the moon. But how? Part of the Earth facing the moon experiences a stronger gravitational pull towards the moon as compared to the Earth's center. So, the part facing the moon is pulled away from the center, creating a bulge and thus increasing the sea level and causing a high tide. Now, the Earth's center experiences a stronger gravitational force towards the moon than the part facing away from the moon. Hence, this part is pulled away from the center, resulting in high tide on the opposite side as well. In addition to this, the places in between the two high tides where the sea level drops experience low tides. Hmm. Why do dead whales explode? Because there are thousands of firecrackers in their bodies. Ah. Uh. Stop bluffing. When a dead whale accidentally gets washed up on a beach, it begins to decompose as it is not eaten up by sharks or other fishes. During decomposition, various gases like methane and carbon dioxide are produced within its body. But since there is a thick layer of blubber under the skin of whales, the gases cannot escape out. Thus, they begin to build up inside the whale's body, causing it to bloat. Now, such gases are also produced in other animals after their death. But since the body of a whale is large, it produces more gases, thus increasing the pressure in its body. Eventually, due to the increased pressure, the accumulated gases, tissues, flesh, etc., forcefully come out through weak spots, thus creating an explosion. Hence, it is always advised to not stand or sit on a dead whale because it might lead to increased pressure at weak spots thus causing an explosion. Oh. How do snowflakes form? My snowman makes them. You wish. <laughs> a snowflake begins to form when a supercooled water droplet in the sky freezes onto a dust particle or pollen forming a tiny ice crystal. However, when water freezes, its molecules arrange themselves in a hexagonal pattern, thus giving the crystal a hexagonal shape. Now, as the ice crystal keeps falling, it comes in contact with more water. As a result, the water starts freezing on the six corners of the ice crystal, causing branches to grow on the corners and thus giving us a beautiful snowflake. Also, as the atmosphere conditions are the same on all sides of the snowflake, the branches grow identically, thus making the snowflake symmetrical. But since every snowflake follows a different pattern to the ground, it encounters different atmospheric conditions. Hence, it is said that no two snowflakes are the same. They all tend to be unique. Hmm. Why is space black? Because somebody forgot to pay the electricity bill. <laughs> nah. Our sun is a huge star, which emits a tremendous amount of light. However, like our sun, there are so many stars in the universe that counting them is almost impossible. So, if there are so many stars, the space shouldn't be black or dark, right? Absolutely! However, this is not the case. 
According to a study, this space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from far, far away stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears uh -huh. black. Hmm.